Hello everyone and welcome back to one Arm Robber. In today's video, I'm going to show you to loot the Black Diamond Heist Casino stealthily using C4. And no, we won't be masking up or using any guns throughout this heist. The only tools that you'll need is a lockpick, C4, and any type of drill. Also, the skill Guard Dodger will come in handy. So without further ado, let's get this one started. When we first start this heist, you want to grab your lockpick, and from the truck, you want to take it immediate left and head to the side door of the casino. After unlocking the side door to the casino, we're going to go inside, hide underneath the camera, and grab the utility key card off the table here. Next, we're going to retrace our steps, head back outside, and once we're outside, we're going to head to the front of the casino. Once we enter the front of the casino, our next step is to head past the front desk and head to the stage area. Once we get to the stage area, we're gonna hop up on stage, go backstage, sprint through this door, and scan the key card. Next, we're gonna disable the alarm. We're gonna unlock this door, go right through it, and head over to the staff only door. From the staff only door, take an immediate right, and our goal is to push these four civilians away from this wall over here. The reason why we're doing this is because on the other side of this wall is the security room and the security guard that we're going to take out with the C4, the splash damage from the C4 might take out some of these civilians. So after moving these civilians away from this wall, we're going to turn around, head up to this guard, and grab the vault key card from his back pocket. Once we have the vault key card, we're going to head back to the truck. Once we get back to the truck, we're going to grab a duffel bag, place the vault keycard inside the duffel bag, along with our C4 and our drill. Once the duffel bag's full, grab the duffel bag, take a left, and head to the side door of the casino. Make sure to pick up your lockpick from earlier. We're going to head inside, go underneath this camera, and unlock the door to the security room. After unlocking this door, we're going to go inside, and we're going to zip tie all the civilians. Now after zip tying all the civilians, our next step is to push them away from the security guard. So the civilian on the left here, we're going to push to the left wall. The civilian in the middle, we're going to push to the back wall. And the other civilian, just to be safe, is the one by the computer. We're going to push to the wall on the right here. So after pushing the civilians away, grab a C4, arm it, and place it on the left side of this guard. Grab his phone and do the check-in on the wall here. Now because of that, we don't have to worry about cameras throughout the rest of the heist. We're going to close this door, grab our duffel bag, go across the break room, head through this door, and we're going to unlock this next door, which gives us access to the outer vault area. After unlocking it, we're going to grab a C4, hug the right side, go right behind this guard, arm the C4, throw it right in front of him like so. It should take him out, grab his phone, and do the check-in on the wall over here. Next, we're going to grab our duffel bag, grab the vault key card, scan the card, and now we have access to the first vault area. Our next step is to take our drill, place it on this table for right now, grab our lockpick, and unlock both these doors. After unlocking both these doors, our next step is to get the laser key card. So place this back in our duffel bag, grab our duffel bag, head out this door, go back to the break room, and head up these stairs. Now at the top of these stairs, there's a guard outside the manager's office, and this is where the skill guard dodger will come in handy. Our goal is to sprint into the corner over here as fast as we can. So once you're ready, we're gonna sprint. And if you're lucky, you do not get caught by the guard. So we can grab our lockpick and unlock the door to the manager's office. After unlocking this door, we're gonna head inside, close the door right behind us, grab the laser key card off the desk, and place it back in our duffel bag. Next, grab our duffel bag and unlock this door to the left here. After unlocking this door, we're going to head down this hallway and down these stairs. Now, once we get to the bottom of the staircase, our next goal is to arm a C4 and throw it at the two guards at the bottom of the staircase. It should take them both out, grab their phones, and do the check-ins. Now, once we've taken out both these guards, our next goal is to get the hand for the hand scan. So we're going to go up these stairs, grab our duffel bag, unlock this door with our lockpick, 
After unlocking this door, we're gonna open it, open up the shutter door, we'll head outside, make note of where the guard is. If the guard's down here and he's coming towards us, we're gonna wait until he goes right past us. So once the guard starts walking, we're gonna grab our C4, arm it, place it in front of these two mobsters. And now we're gonna drag him in as quick as we can. Once they're both inside, close the shutter door. And now we need to drag one of these mobsters down to the hand scan. Scan the hand, the door should open up, and now we're gonna zip tie any civilian that tries to escape. After dealing with all the civilians, we're gonna head back upstairs, grab our lockpick, and we're gonna unlock the last door in the second vault area. And after unlocking this door, we have access to the second vault area. The next step is we're gonna take the second mobster and drag him down the staircase. And once we drag this mobster down here, our next step is to loot the first vault area. So to loot the first vault area, all we're gonna do is open up the shutter door, grab our duffel bag, head out here, go past this guard, take a left, and we're gonna head down to the dumpster here, take another left, Take another left at the scaffolding, and you'll know where you are because the truck is on the right and the first door that we entered is on the left. We're gonna go through this door, open up the shutter door for future reference, go into the vault area, and drop the laser keycard on this table for right now. We're gonna open up the side door, take the laser keycard, scan the card, which will disable the lasers for 30 seconds, grab our drill, and place it on the top lock here. Now, if you have the sticky drill, all you gotta do is place it on the top lock, it will fall to the bottom lock and you don't have to worry about it. And also you don't have to worry about any noise because if any guards here, that's the ones that can't get access to the vault area. And once it's done drilling, we have total access to the first vault area. All we gotta do is just loot it and bring it back to the truck. So we'll just scan the laser key card, go inside this vault area, grab the cart, and just loot everything from this first vault and take it back to the truck. Now be careful not to get stuck in the vault area. You'll know when you only have 10 seconds left when you hear a beeping noise and just to reset it, all you're gonna do is take the key card, scan it, and you'll have 30 seconds to loot the vault again. And the route to get back to the truck is quite simple. We'll just head out these vault doors like so, back out this door, go through the shutter door that we opened up earlier, and it's just a straight shot back to the truck. And you'll keep on doing this until you have all the loot from the first vault area. Now to loot the second vault area with the cart, all we're gonna do is go past this door, go past the scaffolding and retrace our steps from earlier. Past the dumpster, head down this walkway, take a right, make sure that this guard is not looking and head through the shutter door. Once we're in the shutter door, head backwards to this door, backwards to these stairs, backwards to this door, and now we're in the second vault area and we can loot this area. And when you're ready to leave the second vault and go back to the truck, it's simply going back the same route, which is going out the vault area backwards, heading up these stairs, backwards to this door, backwards to the shutter door, head around here to the left, head past the dumpster, past the scaffolding, and it's just a straight shot back to the truck. And you can keep on doing this until you have all the loot from the second vault area. And once you're ready to leave, you can end the heist. And this was how you loot the Black Diamond Heist Casino Stealth Fleet using C4. Also another thing, if you use C4 on the two mobsters out back, it avoids the civilian casualty penalty. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you wanna see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you wanna see a tutorial video, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.